Hey guys, and welcome back. As I am back from recovering from a little cold from last week, I'm back with a brand new video. As this week, I wanted to take a look at some really cool die-cast Ertl Batman Returns vehicles and figures. Now, I loved the Michael Keaton Batman Returns movie growing up as a teenager in the late 80s and early 90s. And I remember all these really cool die-cast toys, and the movie was awesome, so I thought, what a great line to take a look at this week and just check out some of these really cool Ertl toys. So let's start off first with the carded uh, Ertl toy that I have here, and that is the Penguin's Duck Vehicle, so that'll give you guys a, a good idea of all of the different ones in the series. Let's get a look at the packaging here. And you can see it has his, uh, of course, has the duck vehicle that you guys remember he was riding through the sewers and the streets. And the rest of the packaging here. We have the Batman Returns logo on the front with the Michael Keaton cowl and logo. Looks really, really cool. And uh, the duck vehicle looks really nice. This is a really good weight for die-cast metal vehicle. Let's take a look at the back side here, and you can see it has all the other different uh, vehicles that you can get in the series. Uh, you have the Batmobile and the Bat Missile. There's the uh, the Duck vehicle, uh, the Bat Boat, and then you have all of the other figures as well: Batman, Catwoman, uh, the Penguin Commando, and the Penguin. And these are all from 1991. And really cool, some really great art on there. So now let's check out some of the other actual vehicles that I have here. Stand that back up. There we go. All right, and let's check out the main attraction first, of course, the Batmobile. So let's get a look at this cool looking ride here. And now this is a little bit worse for wear because it's been heavily played with over the years, but still in pretty nice condition. You can see it has the uh, the great fins, and they're even scalloped nicely on the back with the lines running through them. Uh, a lot of good detail on all of the different exhaust ports and things on the uh, side of the car. And of course you have the classic logo on the top there and a very nice bright yellow and you have the front turbine engine with the yellow lights that make it look like the face of a bat or the face of Batman and as well on the other side and then the rear rocket propelled engine with the red lights really really nice and the wheels still, uh, they still spin pretty well for being a uh, being an old car. The back ones are a little bit seized up because the wheels are kind of swollen. And you can see in there they have the uh, have the cockpit there. Get a better look at the logo and all the different details. And uh, I'm not sure what scale this is. I'm guessing this is maybe one sixteenth or one eighth scale. It's pretty large. We'll take a look here at the logo on the bottom, and there we go. And you can see it says DC Comics 1989 by Ertl. This is a really nice, solid toy. Now, I didn't have this growing up, but I'm sure if I was a kid in the uh, late 80s and early 90s, I would have loved this with my other metal cars, like from Ertl or Tonka or things like that. So really, really cool. Alright, and now another strange one that I always thought was odd from the movie. And of course, this is the Bat Boat. This is a really strange looking vehicle, and I remember thinking it was strange when I saw it uh, in the movie. And uh, you can see you have these bat shaped rudders and wings on the side with the little buoys on the bottom. You have the tail fin on the back with the additional rudders, uh, another jet propulsion 
rocket thruster in the back, the large wings, the silver logo, which is much more uh, well known for Batman Returns than the yellow logo. Honestly, I think the silver is more well known. And you have here his uh, missiles in the front, or machine guns, or harpoon guns, whatever it is that he would use. And uh, yeah, again, this is all die cast. You have the Ertl logo on the on the bottom, and it's a, it's a really nice looking vehicle, but it's very strange looking. I always thought it looks looked really odd, but still pretty cool. The wings are really done nicely, or fins, I don't know if you really want to call them wings, but, uh, really nice. Strange, but, uh, strange, but definitely still pretty cool. Alright, we'll put that back there. And now, probably my second favorite piece out of the series. I really wish I had the Commando Penguin, but this here is the Michael Keaton Batman. And how awesome is this? This thing probably weighs maybe, like, uh, Almost a quarter of a pound, I guess. It's very, very solid. You have some excellent, excellent detail on this. Let me get this up close so you guys can see really well here. Just get this to focus. All right, that's a little bit better. Come on, there we go. And there we are. You can see the, the detail in its face where you can almost see the eyes in the sockets. The mouth looks really nice. The cowl with the pointed ears. The logo and the belt. Uh, it even has the fins on his gauntlets, um, his boots and legs and the cape and the rest of the rest of his outlet of his outfit. Um, and you have the uh, the flowing cape in the back, looking like you can imagine the wind in Gotham City is blowing his cape around at night. And he's in this really cool dynamic pose, looking like he's ready to jump from a rooftop or on an uns unsuspecting uh, villain or thug that's robbing someone down below in Gotham. And uh, just really cool. And you have the Ertl logo again on the bottom here. And this is a really, really nice figure. This is probably my favorite piece, aside from the, uh, the duck vehicle, the penguin in the series. And like, I, again, I said, I really wish... I'd like to complete the whole series, but I would really love to find the Duck Commando and the Penguin. And uh, Catwoman, yeah, she, she's okay, but the Penguin and the Duck Commando, they're so cool. Like, the Duck Commando with his little gear on, that that's just so neat. So, yeah, it's a really, really great little figure. And uh, overall, I think it's a really great set. I think these are great uh, collectibles for anybody who's a Batman fan or, uh, you know, a die-cast uh, figure or car collectible fan, or even a movie fan, you know, if you're just a fan of Batman Returns, I think this makes a really great set. So uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in and checking out this cool little line of die-cast figures and vehicles by Ertl, and I'll see you back here next week. Take care. Hey, guys, if you liked the video that you just watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and you can follow me at Facebook at King of Retro or Twitter at hashtag 8 Brian. See you next time.